and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can probably see by the title, I'm going to take out my hair extensions today. I'm honestly devastated. <laughs> um, I only have side fillers in, so there's only a couple here um, at the front. But I'm just going to pop down the road to the shop to see can I get pliers. <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually so sad, but I wanted to show you how I get on. And let's pray all my hair does not fall out. <laughs> so I will talk to you in the next clip. Hopefully I'll get some pliers in the shop. And well, let's be real. If you're watching this, I got pliers in the shop. See you in a few. Okay, so I'm back. I got myself pliers. Who would have ever thought it would be me going in to buy a pair of pliers? But poor wee guy in the shop literally had a face of confusion, but I got them. And I'm scared. <laughs> I need to take out my little, um, what do you call these? Bubble braids. Okay, so my extensions are literally just like this little bit here. So, sorry, just excuse my colour and my hair's probably all kinked. But this is my natural hair. Why not? So this would be my natural hair here at the back and then I just have the extensions like here at the side. Oh my god, that kink. So I'm gonna just tie back the little back of my hair. So I have the beads, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So I did a bit of Googling and YouTubing and as far as I know, all I have to do is like press down on the little bead and it should just slide off. These are in ages, so I feel like I have a little bit of matting, so I hope it's as easy as it looked on the videos. <laughs> okay, let me just get one at the front here. Like, look how much that's grown out. It's out here. <laughs> okay, so I've just grabbed it like the opposite way it's been squished and I'm just gonna press down on it. Okay. <gasps> one out. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take out the actual extensions and then worry about my actual hair after but it's actually not looking too bad so far I've only taken one out but <laughs> okay I'm getting there <laughs> Thank God I don't have a full head because I actually don't know how I manage. I'm struggling and I only take like three out. <laughs> oh my God, I actually have so many in. <laughs> I have one packet in my hair and I'm struggling like. And you know after, for anyone who's had extensions before, you know what it feels like, like the day you get them out, you actually feel so bald, even though really, they don't really damage, well, any experience I've had, they haven't damaged my hair. So it's actually like what your hair was like before, but you kind of forgot because you had the extensions in. I'm already feeling bald. So I'm just going to show you up close what like my beads look to like. So this was like the strand of hair and you had like, here we go. So you can see it's just kind of like glued at the top. And then you have like one of these little beads and it's just like squished onto your hair. So it's not like the bonds where they're actually like the, the glue is melted into your hair so definitely much better so i have the one side done i think oh no that's like all like the residue left so i need to get that out afterwards i think okay moving on if I just said there but with the beads um usually you can get them like put back up I was due to get mine like just moved back up in January and then obviously lockdown happened so yeah here we are now in March <laughs> um so hopefully if I just keep the hair I can get them put back up like the hair is perfect so that'll be handy and something I look forward to get these little like mats out of my hair i need to google it i think this might be the last one my extensions were getting to the point where like because i only had them here at the front they were getting like longer than the hair longer than the hair on the back 
So it looked really weird. Not that anyone but myself noticed, but still. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's it. Okay, let me show you my hair now without the extensions in. I mean, it's still like long at the back. Um, but just the sides of my hair here are like really thin. But like over this lockdown now, I really want to try and like help them grow out a little bit. Um, so it's just there, like I have extensions that like brought that all the way down. And this side's not as bad, but still I just had like some more thickness like here. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna Google now like what do I do about these little mats. <laughs> okay, micro bead removal. How to get rid of the little mats. <laughs> okay, so what it pretty much says is I just have to like go to each like individual little mat and use a tail comb. I don't have a tail comb up in my house here. Um, so like the end of this will have to do. And it just says like literally like stick your comb in and like pretty much pull apart each strand until there's no more mat. Um, so I'm going to do that now, I suppose. <laughs> see in about three hours. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> it's not even like, it's like residue. Oh, that's one done. Can you see this? It's like a little clump. And I'm just like slightly pulling it and then like sticking the comb in here. I'm just like pulling out. Very gently. If any hairdressers watching this, I actually am a hairdresser, but I never did extensions. But to any girls that know what they're doing, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing this right, but I'm trying. I'm gonna be here for a while, so I'll come back to you when I've got like one side done. Okay, so I've literally been doing that for about oh well over half an hour, and I literally did about four. Like, and my head hurts. <laughs> So, um, oh, what I was doing, I think I actually said in the last clip that I was doing, to tell you this again, I used some oil and I'm like rubbing it into like the little mat and then I'm using just the end of this brush and kind of like trying to untangle it without like pulling it or anything. Um, and I'm probably going to be doing this for the rest of the evening because I mean, I've like this whole side to do yet. I'm like, I can't help me. But yeah, so that's my hair as well. You guys who've had extensions, how nice does it feel to just go, or like be able to just like run your fingers through your hair. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I feel like my hair looks the same as it did before my extensions. I'm going to, um, whenever I have all this done, I'm gonna like give it a good mask and a trim as well i have my scissors there so um yeah i probably won't do much like i'll just like trim off like maybe like that much and nah maybe like that much and yeah just give it a little freshen up but i wanted to talk you through the products that i use while i'm here so on my normal shower i use the olaplex shampoo so the number four and then i use the kevin murphy repair me rinse conditioner these are amazing, this combo. So good, my hair always feels so fresh, so soft, and it just feels amazing. And I really feel that it's helped like grow my hair back a little bit because I was literally balding. Then, every like third shower, or third hair wash, I use the Kevin Murphy Cool Angel. So this is like a purple mask, and it gets rid of like brassy tones. This is also so luxurious, like you need to get this if you've got blonde hair. And it smells amazing. I feel like it's like lavender-y. Oh no, it's not even. Green tea, olive leaf, and grapeseed. Like afterwards, my hair just feels so soft. And obviously we can't go wrong with getting rid of the brassy colors. So that was what I was using like when I had my extensions in. 
for whenever I'm um, having my next hair wash, will be later, I'm gonna give it a good purple shampoo. So this is the purple shampoo I use. It's the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. This is the best purple shampoo I have ever used in my life. It is unbelievable. So that's it there, Fanola No Yellow. And it's just like purple shampoo. But this shampoo has like sulfate in it. And when you have like hair extensions in, you can't use sulfate. So I obviously wasn't using this. But I cannot wait to use it, honestly. It's amazing. But I only ever use this like once a month because purple shampoos are extremely drying for your hair. So top tip, don't be purple shampooing your hair literally every hair wash because you'll have no hair left. So I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, what else? I use the, this is the brush I use. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I always rave about this brush. It's the Bell brush and it's a hair extension brush, but um, I will never use another brush, even when I don't have hair extensions. It's so gentle on your hair. It doesn't like pull or tug. Like if you have any knots, like it doesn't like pull ahead of you. And um, it's like a big paddle brush kind of thing too. So get the job done quick. I think that's it. I have as well oh, the Olaplex number three, but I literally just used the last of it yesterday, so I need to repurchase that. But that also is another good one. It's a, like before your shower treatment, you put it in um, on wet hair and then go into the shower, shampoo, conditioner, everything. That is also really, really good. And then after every shower, I always use this oil. I cannot wash my hair without it. It's the Elvive Extraordinary Oil and it also has a heat protectant in it. So I love this, it's amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna spend my evening now taking out these little mats and giving my head, my head a good scratch. I hope this video was interesting to some of you because like I would definitely be the one to watch these kind of videos. And I'm glad you were here for my hair journey. I've gone back to my normal hair. I cannot wait to get my roots done. I'm thinking of sticking with the balayage but going blonder. I just can't be bothered maintaining the highlights. Like, no. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.